Hi everybody, it's been a while, uh, but I wanted to come back and specifically talk about variables for a quantitative dissertation. And specifically getting into some details about what you need to understand about your variables so that you can clearly define your procedures and you can write your chapter three and clearly explain and show that you understand the variables in your study. So I've got a couple of parts to this because I want to make these shorter videos um, just to, you know, make it easier to get through some of this information. So your variables are a huge part of your dissertation, but there's a lot of different things that you need to understand about each of the variables so that when you put your dissertation together, it all makes sense and it fits together properly. So that's why I want to talk about quantitative variables. So the first thing that you need to think about when you are building out your study and um, thinking about what's defined and not, or what's not defined in the literature and what you need to study is you need to understand what you're going to measure. Okay. Now this is really just for quantitative dissertations. This is not really um, as applicable to qualitative dissertations, but you can apply some of this. So you need to understand, okay, what's the name of the variable? What is it that I am measuring? Then you need to have a clear understanding of the conceptual definition. You need to operationally define the variable, and then you need to understand at what level are you measuring. Okay, so these are the things that I'll talk about in this video, and then we'll get into more of the information um, in part two. So let's talk about the definitions, okay? So you need to make sure that you understand your variable, okay? Um, for my study, one of my variables was work engagement. Um, one of the other ones was psychological capital, and then there was also work environment, okay? So let's just take work engagement for an example here. The conceptual definition is how the seminal authors defined the variable. Okay, so for work engagement, the seminal authors define work engagement as being made up of three parts, absorption, vigor, and dedication, and then they describe each of those, okay? Operationally is how are you defining the variable for your study? So I'm looking at work engagement uh, in my study. It's made up of three parts, but for my study, I really wanted to look at the aggregate score of work engagement rather than the scores of the three subconstructs. Okay. And I'll show you how I wrote that in a, in a minute here. Okay. But I want to talk about the levels. Okay. So when you think about how you're going to measure your variable, you need to understand how you're going to level, measure the levels. Okay. So you can measure at the individual level. So work engagement of the individual, you can look at the team level, the engagement of the team, and then you can look even at the organizational level. So one thing you need to understand when you go into your study is when you're doing your procedures, are you comparing individual levels to team levels? Um, and if so, there's some things that you need to think about um, when you get into that discussion or if you're just looking at the individual levels, if you're looking at organizational levels, that's going to add some limitations, it's, you're going to build in some assumptions. So depending on where, what level you measure your variable at, there's some additional things that you need to think about, okay? For my study, I was measuring the individual level of work engagement psychological capital, okay? I did not do a, um, a team study where I looked at the teamwork engagement and um, like management, but those are the kinds of things if you were looking at, say, uh, leadership style on team engagement, okay, you're looking at an individual measurement with leadership style, and then you're looking at uh, team engagement. So you're, you're looking at the engagement of the whole team and not individuals on the team. Okay, so those are some things that you want to think about. I'm going to flip over and show you when I, um, in my chapter three, there's a variable table that uh, Grand Canyon University requires you to complete. And I just want to show you, I'm actually going to scroll down here to work engagement because we were just talking about it. 
Okay, so the name of the variable is work engagement. This is my dependent variable. This is how it is conceptually defined by Baker et al. 2008. High levels of energy, vigor, which is one of the subcategories, involvement in the inspiration from and satisfaction in doing the work, dedication, and losing oneself in the work absorption. Okay, the operational definition is defined here. The constructs of vigor, dedication, and absorption are measured and combined to provide an overall work engagement score. So this is how I operationally defined work engagement within my study. Okay, and that's based on Baker et al. 2008. We'll talk about in part two, we'll talk about measurement levels and instruments, um, but I wanted to just talk about conceptual and operational definitions and then understanding your level of measurement for this study. So I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.